What's up to the first video of the week, people? I'm not feeling great, so I can't really talk very loud. Uh, you can hear my voice all raspily still. Uh, we are heading out into uh, the middle of freaking nowhere. Westphalia. That's like 30 minutes outside of the city of, e of either the town we live in or the capital. So that's weird. Uh, oh, crap. Man, my voice is hurt. Yeah, we're going to the dentist, get our teeth looked at, get told that we got fucked up teeth. <laughs> My teeth are good. Well, I got messed up. I'm going to get told I got messed up teeth. What happens when you chew on soda cans your whole life? Uh, they taste good. I feel like they build, uh, they toughen up your, your teeth, man. You get that aluminum fix. Yep, I need the minerals. I don't know what mineral that would be, but. Aluminum. Shut up. My brother thinks they're gonna be, that, that we're going, because we're going so far out of the city, that uh, it, it's gonna be a veterinary, or a, a dentist that also works on animal teeth. <laughs> it's all right, because you're gonna get some wooden dentures. And they're gonna accidentally give me horse ones? Yep. You're looking like Mr. Ed. Horses, of course. Of course, of course. Nobody can talk to a horse, of course. Unless you're Mr. Red. David's supposedly getting a car to there tomorrow. Your destination will be on the right. You think it's Hotline Dental Group? This almost sounds sexual in nature. Hey, I made my uh, Google Maps have an Australian accent. <laughs> The dentist office is at the gas station. Whoa. Your destination is on the right. And we're here. Bye. General Dentistry. Sounds like there might be a horse or a cow or two in there. <laughs> what up, my peeps? Check it out. David's got a new car. The newest car of the whole family. I don't even know what it is though. What, what? It's actually clean inside for now. Whoa. We're gonna go play some uh, Magic the Gathering. And shit, like that. Ugh. Oh crap. Gotta fix the other back. Hey, let us in, please. We want in. We know there's food in there. We smell it. We, we want food. Hey, let me in. Let me in, please. All right, here, come on. Yay! Oh. Mm. No, no, I'm not going to do it. Don't off my master. You got food for me? No? How about you? Can you have food? I know you got food. Josh got. I know you got food. Alright. Well, guys, it's Sunday again. Barely any clips. I think I have. I have three clips for the week. Four clips, including this. Uh, just it's been. It's like it usually is when it's those long weeks at work. I don't really do a lot of videos because uh, most of my time just spent at work. Uh, I'm actually uh, sitting out here. My brother's making a sale right now. Uh, I don't. I don't think the guy's buying the product though. Uh, I got this weird homeless guy with me. You really sound homeless. no, I don't. That's that'd be mean. I was just shining my little laser at a. Uh, oh, and it's just really at a uh, one of the drivers way down there. And he pinpointed where it was coming from and came up and was like, what was that? That thing was hella bright. And uh, his laughing is funny. <clears throat> Hopefully that's not a laugh to my face and then go tell the boss and get me in trouble. <laughs> I can see that happening in this place. You know, uh, I'll have to show you guys something. So I'll do another clip in a few, in a few seconds. You'll see it. All right. Welcome back, my meeples, my sheeples, my peoples. Hopefully none of you are sheeples. But uh, if you are a sheeple, I hope you're a sheeple because you follow my channel. 
and you follow my actions. Uh, don't follow my actions. Terrible advice. All right. So I told you I was going to do another clip. That's because I wanted to tell you something. Life at this job has gotten a little bit shittier. Uh, you know, I used to have my monitor and stuff in here, my speakers right there, just in that little corner. Uh, I lit a candle in, in memorum, mem mem memorandum, whatever, whatever the words it, word is. Uh, but as you can see, it's not there anymore. I mean, nor is my PlayStation. My laptop is here for now. Uh, that's because, as they say, shit goes rolling downhill. Uh, apparently, one of the employees up at the warehouse, one of the Laser Spot employees, that's who I work for is Laser Spot, uh, one of the bosses or whatnot, one of the supervisors of some nature, uh, I don't think it was a boss, but just supervisor of something. Uh, was supposed to be, well, apparently this is what I hear. Uh, there were five trailers waiting to be loaded, okay, that were supposed to be loaded. Uh, a Unilever employee came up to whoever this guy was uh, for us and asked him why the trailers weren't loaded yet. They needed to be loaded a while ago. And he, and he said, oh, man, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I spaced it. I was watching Netflix. Do we see the problem right there? There's multiple problems in this scenario, but there's one big glaring, like, in your face, like, I just want to slap this dude. <sighs> Why would you tell someone? I mean, first of all, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're making everybody fall behind. But why would you Why would you tell them that you were watching Netflix? Just be like, Oh, I, I wasn't feeling good or something, you know. Don't don't be honest like that. That's too honest. And they're not supposed to be doing that sort of stuff anyways. Down here I was they were allowing us to do it because we sit here mostly for twelve hours, probably with an hour's worth of work, if that. And uh so most of the time we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs. Uh but yeah, so they allowed us to do that down here. But now that they screwed up you know, and I was still able to use it for a few more days, but my coworker, Carla, uh, keeps making life difficult for me down here uh, and other people because I brought in that monitor and that those speakers so that everybody could use it. But she's the only person that does not use them. And she has a very big, what appears to be a large power and control issue where she likes to feel like, She's the one that makes all the decisions, and she gets to have it her way no matter what. Uh, and so she complained to the boss, Tom, that I still had my stuff down here. Uh, and so, and took my, she took my, she packed my stuff up into her car and took it up to the main office up there herself. And, and uh, told Tom. And then Tom's like, well, you're lucky I didn't write you up. I'm like, whoa, because from what he had told me the day before that, I just couldn't bring the PlayStation, you know, that he didn't want the PlayStation. So I was like, all right, I didn't bring the PlayStation. Um, but since he doesn't, but now I guess he didn't want the speakers or the TV or the monitor in here, which I don't see why that was a problem, to be honest. I mean, it took up just a small little corner right there. You know, 27 inches, because that's how I had it. Uh, it's all right. So I can't bring that in here anymore. That sucks. I just use this. <laughs> but I'm going to be getting this uh, device that will allow me to plug in my PlayStation directly to my laptop. Then I'll just keep the PlayStation underneath. That, and Tom won't even really know. He doesn't know enough about technology to really you know have that matter or to really care and i think it was more along the lines of uh it being in your face over here that's my best guess and if i just have it plugged in directly to my laptop and take it home with me every day it probably won't be an issue with anybody that's my best guess at least until they tell me i can't do that either I was using the Oculus yesterday, though. Nobody can even tell when you're using the Oculus. 
because I have the light off and I close the laptop screen. And I'm just, you know, listen, looking around in the in another world. Uh, and I have the windows open so I can hear if any trucks are coming down that I have to check. So I never miss anything. And uh, the audio is playing through the laptop speakers instead of the Rift headphones, so it's not loud. So it's easy to hear anything. Uh, but yeah, it just sucks, you know, that both my coworker and one of my co- <clears throat> excuse me, one of my coworkers up front is trying to make the job just not a pleasant experience through either stupidity or just being spiteful. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bummer, but you know, I also understand that it is a job. So, I mean, I get that, uh, and I'm not the boss. They're the boss. They see what, they see what goes, goes, you know, it doesn't mean that, uh, it ain't annoying. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get in a little Elgato device that'll allow me to, uh, plug the laptop or the PlayStation directly into the laptop, then the PlayStation will pretty much just be an invisible object sitting on the desk, really, underneath the laptop, uh, and I'll still be able to enjoy it. It won't take up any extra space. It won't be left here. Uh, It'll be just as, I mean, in regards to the amount of work I do, it won't change either or. Uh, So, I mean, it really has no effect on the quality of work that I do, because I just do my job, whether you have it or not. I mean, it's never been a problem. That's why it annoys me that uh, somebody else made it a problem. Anyways, this is the last clip. I made it extra long, ranting about something stupid. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next on the next vlog. Like, subscribe, thumbs up. Stay awesome. Stay true to yourself. But most of all, I love you guys. I love you, man. Why are you recording me while I'm sleeping? Why are you still recording me? I'm trying to sleep here. Go away. Leave me alone, please. Fall asleep, guys. Hey, guys. Um, I was sleeping. I'm awake now. Hey. So, uh, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? Oh, um. Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, I got a niche real quick. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'm quite ready to get up. I'm going to take a drink and go way back down, okay? I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye. Have a good night.